Good afternoon, this is in Shaman Oracle reading for Thursday, December the 8th, 2022, and the reading is for Pisces. Hello Pisces, I wish you a wonderful day and a good rest of the week. And as you can see, the cards are ready for the reading. We have four cards. We have the Archangel Animal Oracle card. We have the Oracle of the Fairies. We have the Keepers of the Light Oracle. And at the end, you take a journey to a sacred site. And that is called Sacred Site Oracle. Okay? But first, we are starting with Archangel Animal Oracle. And out came the horrors. Care for others and let them be free. Said so Archangels Mary and Christiel. Horses incarnate from Lakumi, the ascended aspect of Sirius, and these elegant, refined, and magnificent creatures are all fifth dimensional. Their sole contract is to serve humanity, while in return we agree to look after them, honor them, and let them be free. These beautiful animals have huge heart centers, and there has always been a strong bond of love between them and humans. They are great healers and have a special closeness with children. They are linked with Angel Mary, who pours her divine healing light through them. Recently, when enough people raised their frequency, the Archangel Christiel entered this universe through his cross-shaped stargate in Lyra and poured divine feminine light through the moon into the causal chakras of all. It affected everyone, but particularly the sensitive, refined and high frequency horse, and it reactivated the higher mission, which is to bring earth into divine perfect balance. The guidance of the card is this card calls you to expand your heart center and focus on your noble qualities and aspirations. You are reminded that in order to honor others and let them be free, you must first respect yourself and set yourself free. So tune in to the great universal angel Mary and let her wonderful healing, divine feminine light, bathe you and dissolve the old. Then take decisions that shine with you and light you up. Visualize the full moon or look at it if you can and be aware of the Archangel Christiel's shimmering, milky, white light extending to your third eye and a magnificent pure white unicorn walking along the light to touch you. This will start to activate your own personal, great soul qualities. Watch a higher path unfold. Now that's a beautiful message, Pisces, for you. Next card is the Oracle of the Fairies. And that card says, ask for help. Angels, they are celestial beings who protect everyone. And the fairies say, now is the time for you to ask for angelic assistance. 
there are times in our lives when we need celestial assistance and that time may be now. Angels are omnipresent, non-denominational beings who can be called upon for help by anyone at any time for any kind of assistance. From clearing congested traffic to fast healing after a medical procedure. Perhaps you are very independent and feel that you can sort out everything and anything on your own without help. Fairies too, they are generally self-sufficient creatures and can usually deal with any challenges that might arise. But on occasion, even the fairies need a little divine intervention. And they then may ask for an angelic helping hand. It makes perfect sense if we humans can call on the angels, why wouldn't the fairies ask for angelic intervention too? This card may be telling you that an angelic boost would be beneficial for you or someone you know at this time. With this card, the fairies are encouraging you, Pisces, to call on a personal guardian angel to help you through any tricky situation you may be experiencing. The fairies will also sprinkle some fairy dust on you to give you some cheer and joy during challenging times or even if you just need a fairy boost. Be aware that sometimes the fairies are referred to as the angels of nature or nature angels, but they are not celestial angels. The roles are very different from one another, though they sometimes meet somewhere in the middle. Remember that there are no rules and that the angels are happy to work with fairies and humans alike when it's for the highest good of all. The keepers of the light oracle came out as the Holy Spirit and you are to expect miracles. Remember that only love is real. Miracles will occur naturally. Spirit has your back. According to the spiritual text, a course in miracles, the Holy Spirit mediates between illusion and truth. It's the essence that allows us to move beyond the illusion of fear or the illusions that our fear has created. It's the holiest light of truth and love that we can ever experience an aspect of our truest self, the self that's never separate from God. When it appears in a reading, prepare for the miraculous. There is an extended message. Expect the unexpected. Expect miracles. A real turnaround is possible now. Angels are dancing around you, leave behind thoughts, memories and feelings that are no longer serving you and remember the love that you are. Move into your heart and allow that love to shine out into the world. Then miracles can happen. And now, Pisces, comes the fun part. Namely, you take a journey. The location is South Dakota, USA. And you are visiting the Thunderhead. 
And the focus of the card is wisdom. There are three components to the card. There is the lower world relating to the past. There is the middle world relating to the present. And there is the upper world relating to your potential. And the reading starts with the lower world, namely your past. Today is a good day to die, were the famous words of Crazy Horse, legendary war leader of the Oglala Lakota. This card calls on you to be fearless in the face of adversity. In the past, have you let fear govern your actions? Has it prevented you from taking risks or trying new things? The power symbol on this card is the sacred hoop of the Lakota, depicting the never-ending cycle of life. Knowing that life is continuous removes the fear of dying. This wisdom gives you purpose in life. Walk tall through the seasons, learning their meaning through each phase of life from birth to death to rebirth. Buffalo, buffalo the animal of abundance that gave food, clothing and tools to the people, asks you to honor your desire for self-realization and initiation by opening yourself to wisdom. The middle world relates to the present and says on the card, Behold Thunderbird Mountain in the Black Hills of South Dakota, from which the world's largest unfinished sculpture is carved. Crazy horse on horseback points southeast over the lands where many of his people lie buried. In 1939, the Lakota elders asked the Polish-American sculpture, the Puli, Polish from Poland, American sculptor Korsak Siokolski to construct a fitting memorial for his hero and custodian of these lands. The project was to consume the artist's whole life. He refused millions of dollars in federal funding to complete his statue, saying this would compromise the site. Which of your projects are still uncompleted, Pisces? Have you been distracted or did you run out of funds? This card reminds you never to give up and the crazy horse movement lives on and perhaps one day the sculpture will be completed. Finish your tasks so that your true splendor may be revealed. And the upper world comes now and that upper world relates to your potential. White buffalo calf woman, also called Bacan woman, Wopi, mother of life, mother superior, offers you the Kanupa Bacan, the sacred pipe of the Lakota Sioux. Smoking this gives access to tribal traditions such as storytelling and sacred visions that demonstrate the great responsibility that comes with walking the fearless path. Do you feel a connection to Crazy Horse, this earthly visionary and warrior, or to White Buffalo Calf Woman and her goddess-like creative powers? The feathers on the card indicate that much remains for you to be experienced. 
and that opportunities to do so will present themselves soon. The sun behind the white buffalo calf woman denotes travel. Reconnect with the Aboriginal people of your chosen land and strengthen your bond with the sacred wheel of life. You must follow your vision regardless of the perceived dangers that lie ahead. Minimize risk, but don't let fear of the unknown or unfamiliar stop you. Now comes a prayer to Wakan woman. So, read these words to open yourself to the wisdom of the mother of life. And I'm reading it, of course, because you don't have the book in front of you. So here it goes. Vakan woman, holy one, blessed. I hear your call to come. I am urged to feel your wisdom, all you know, as you shared all those years ago. A buffalo was seen upon the hill. Perhaps it was the woman. No one is sure. We all remain still. Many desired her. The brave scout decided to try his hand and march out across the sacred land. He intended her as his prize, but his journey would be everlasting, for she is a goddess from the skies. A cloud descended over the two, but revealed just one, and not a seox. Only his bones left on the ground next to the woman. This is all they found. No need to fear, her voice spoke. With such love, he radiated light as from above. Sacred seven rituals taught through Shanupa, peace was sought. Goddess Wuppi, with thanks to you, the wisdom within my heart stays true. So, Pisces, that was your journey to the Thunderhead. Thank you for listening. I wish you a wonderful day and goodbye.